All right, so we're going to start a project for the SSIS, uh, the retail all over again. So here I'm going to open here my uh, screen. Let's see if I can make it bigger now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a database, new database. I'm going to call this SSIS underscore retail. You can call it anything you want it. I just run out of names. I'm going to browse and make sure that I selected the systems administrator. I'm going to say OK and OK. All right, we're going to refresh and now I have a whole new database. So there is two steps that I need to do. I need to import that data, customer data. So I'm going to import that data right here. Have my wizard. I'm going to make sure that I selected Excel and then I'm going to go and I created a folder in my desktop just to make my life easy. And I'm going to import the customer data. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to make sure that 97 2003 is selected. I'm going to select next. And in here, I'm going to use my local host to connect to my server to import all the data to this new database that I created, SSIS underscore retail. And I'm going to say next. So we have done this many times. So next and next, next and finish. And everything worked perfectly. I'm going to refresh going to open the table and I'm going to rename this just for order, right? Here, customer data. So I know that that's my Excel file that I imported. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to create an architecture that has um, a data mark. Right, so I'm going to go and create a new table here. And that table that I'm going to create it is going to hold all the information that I'm going to use to upload the data to my tables. So I'm going to go here to the table and I'm going to click query because I already have that. So if I go here to my alter table script, I had, oh no, this is not the alter table that's, um, stage area script, I'm sorry, I already have all my data. So I am going to select all, copy, and I'm going to do some modifications. All right, so I'm going to paste my script there. And the things that change here is this. So I added, since I don't want to be important for multiple uh, tables, the key for the dim dimension, uh, dim, uh, the, uh, the dimension uh, for customer store location, so on. I add my key here so that are going to be created as new values. Another thing that I'm going to take here is my stage area. I'm going to add as new, so I don't put constraint on my. Uh, oh, it's not going to allow me to do new. There you go. I'm going to take that out of my stage area, right? Uh, the constraints. So all my keys do not have constraint. They are null. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to update this table as we create. So we're going to call this retail. I misspelled. Okay, retail data. Uh, retail, uh, retail. And I'm going to call this a stage area retail. So I know exactly what I'm doing. This is my stage area. So this is what we had to add. We had to add the customer key, the day key, the location key, and the store key. And as we build our project, thank you, sweetie. As we build our project, we're going to update and select this tint every time that we refresh our tables. All right, so here it is. I'm going to run this. I'm going to create my table in the SSIS retail and perfect. 
and it says yes I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a stage area retail it cannot be more all right stage area retail save all right perfect so now if I refresh right I have here my stage area and if I looked at my table has no data all right, so I'm going to make sure that I uploaded my table here so I can go um, doing my project. So I'm going to minimize here. If you're running out of space, I'll recommend you to close it and open your uh, database so you it, it runs faster. So I'm going to go and open my SSDT tools. There you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the videos by step. So if you did that step correct, you know how to do it. You don't have to watch the whole thing. All right. So I'm going to create here a project and I'm going to call this a stage area upload. And the thing that I'm calling this I call in this this because I'm going to do multiple projects. So instead of get something wrong and then I'm going to do it properly, we're going to do this in different packages and different projects. So this will be only to upload data to the staging area. So I'll click OK. <coughs> and my package, I'm going to call this data upload. All right. So that's going to be my package. Here is my window. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a data flow to get data from my uh, customer data and upload all the way to the staging area. So I'm going to grab a data flow. And uh, here I'm going to change and call this load data stage area. So I'm kind of making myself organized here. There is two ways you can do the connection manager here, but we're going to do as we have done in classes and then we're going to repeat different process as we go. Going to double click and in here, I'm going to grab two things. I'm going to grab a source assistant that actually allows me to connect to my server, allows me to connect to a uh, different type of servers and, and uh, another connections. So in my case, since I have the data already uploaded to my database, I'm going to connect to my database. If the file were sitting on my desktop like it is here, see I have my file here and I want to connect to this file instead, you could do that too. But in my case, I made my life easy, so I'm just going to grab a source assistant. I'm going to connect to a new connection here. The both connections are going to connect to the same place. However, I just want you to go, it's, it's a practice, but the, the both connections that we are going to create, they connect to the same place, the same uh, table. All right, so here I am going to look select the local host that is the server native client and in here i'm going to select the server my server my local host and uh if you are doing this it's taking a few minutes it depends on the speed of the computer it does take a while to connect so that is not an error if by any chance you try you cannot connect it you can always paste the the server name here and um it will have the same effect, but I'm connecting. Let's see if I get to connect. And I can't find my server. All right. So as you see, I could not find my server. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to open this again. And I'm going to copy the name of my server because I can't connect somehow. 
So I'm going to paste that there. And when I paste, see, I paste my server. I'm going to find that, uh, what is the name? SSIS retail database that I created. And I'm going to say, okay. And I'm going to say, okay. So here I'm going to call this uh, stage. No, this is data so oh, data source and this also i'm going to rename so this connections is for the customer data source so my connection is to get that uh, excel that i uploaded here so if we go to the tables and go to my SS retail and see the tables, actually I wanted to connect to this customer data that I have not formatted the, the data types, nothing. <clears throat> All right, so here it is. Now I'm gonna grab a destination. I am also gonna connect again. And yes, if you think, oh yeah, I can, we already have the connection. I am aware of that. But we're gonna do this as part of the <coughs> exercise in case, let's say your data were placed in another area. Okay, and this is my stage area, okay. Great, so before I can connect, uh, let me rename this, stage area data source. No, no, this is a stage area load data. <clears throat> I got to load the data. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. All right, so before I can connect, <coughs> I'm gonna grab the information so from my customer. So I'm gonna add, edit, and in here I have selected the connection, customer data source, but I have not selected the table. So I'm going to select the customer data. I'm going to the columns now, and I want to select everything but i don't want to select that it's too old of a data the 2011 12 and 13 and also again 2011 the 12 and 13 and another data the other one other one the word i have no idea what that means so i'm just going to select everything else to upload it to my stage area and now i am going to connect now that i selected i'm going to connect going to click edit and once again I am going to pick the table that I want to upload my data to in this case is the stage area I'm going to go to the mappings and I'm going to make sure that my keys all the keys I ignore because they're null and uh all the only key that's going to be out of generated is the stage area all right so here for annual income, I'm just going to go there and select annual income for the spending score, spending score, unit sold, and the address in the bottom here that's missing. No, it's address, sorry. Uh, no, where is it? Unit sold. I selected wrong. This is ignore. And this is ignore. Okay, let's go do it again. Unit sold and address. <coughs> so if you look here at the tables, you can see that all the uh, keys were map but the keys all right so i'm going to say okay <clears throat> and now that this is ready i'm going to right click in any space and i'm going to select execute task 
and my task uh, work and we actually exported 6,889 rows of information. All right, if I go to my database here, I refresh, refresh, open my tables, open the stage area, select a thousand rows. And then you can see that everything is there, but the keys, because the keys are null and we're gonna have to create it every time that we create the tables. All right, so this is the first part of the SSIS.